In this video, I'm going to show you how you can maximize the amount of views your videos get by uploading it at the right time. Let's get straight into it. Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vince and on this channel, I talk about everything content creation and YouTube related. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can find the best time for your channel specifically to upload your videos. And I'm also going to talk about a couple extra bonus tricks and tips. So let's get into the actual tips and not waste any more time. Now, the first few hours a video is up and also the first day is really important in terms of that if it gets a lot of views and engagement in that time period, YouTube is going to see that this video is something that people are interested in and something that is worth pushing for them to, you know, a bigger audience as well. So you want to make sure that you maximize the amount of views and watch time you get in the first two hours to three hours and also just gen in general, like in the first day of the video going live. So I'm going to show you uh, uh, like I said, in uh, specific details, like how you can find the best times for you to post and also give you a couple of tricks on how you can drive some more traffic to the videos when you upload them. So obviously you want to upload when your audience is online so they can actually watch the video that you upload and they are not, you know, like sleeping throughout that time. So there are a couple methods to go around that. So the first method that I like using the most because it's probably the simplest and the easiest to implement is what I call the analytics method. So what you need to do for that is go on your um, YouTube analytics and then go into the audience tab. And there you can actually see, you know, this graph where you can see what time your audience is the most active. And you want to obviously put out your uploads one or two hours before the peak of when most of your viewers are online. And this way, you know, you can make sure that when your video goes live and it goes into people's subscription feeds, it gets the most amount of views possible. Now, you can also use something like TubeBuddy, which is an amazing extension for YouTubers to actually see like what time you should post because it can analyze your channel for you and give you a suggestion based on that, which is usually very accurate from my experience. If you want to sign up for TubeBuddy, you can go ahead and check it out in the uh, description. Now, as a disclaimer, I I am like an affiliate for them. So I do get like a really small kickback from it if someone signs up, but it is actually a service that I've been using for over three years at this point. I've been a paying customer and a fan of theirs because I think they provide a really good service. So I can highly recommend it to you without feeling bad about it or anything like that. But the other way you can actually use the analytics to see when you should upload. And this works better for like bigger channels when you're already getting some views is by going onto the real time views uh, part of your analytics and then seeing where the peaks are and then the same way you would do it with the other like analytics thing you just upload a few hours before it's peaking every single day and that way you can maximize the amount of views you get now the second method for uh, finding out what time you could upload on your channel for maximizing views is what I call the demographics method. So what you want to do for that is go on your channel and look at your demographics and see where most of your viewers are from, right? And then once you know that, like kind of what are the main time zones that your viewers are in, you can then figure out what time it is morning for them and what time it is afternoon for them. And I recommend either uploading in the morning, so somewhere between, you know, 8 to 10 a.m or in the afternoon at like 6 or 5 p.m. I think these are the best times that perform well. And, you know, I run multiple channels for my clients and I run my own channel. And this has been the case. Like the, uh, the best times are generally either the mornings or the afternoons for uploading. So you can go on your demographics tab, see where most of your viewers are from and, you know, just upload when the majority of your viewers are. The next method to find out what time you could upload for maximizing views is what I call the poll method. So what you can do is you can go on either your Instagram stories or your community tab on YouTube and create a poll asking your viewers, you know, what is their best time for them to watch the videos. You can add in a couple options and, you know, you want to put in the time zone there obviously as well so they can see what time it is for them. And then you can just choose the one where most people, you know, are available. So the poll that's going to get the most votes is the one you probably want to go with or uh, something around that. 
So that is a good way to involve your audience and kind of like let them decide as well for you on what time you are going to be uploading these videos. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're doing this for them in a way where, uh, you know, they should be the ones <laughs> who get to kind of decide when you post because the more you can involve them in your content and, and the more you can make them feel like they are actually, you know, someone <laughs> who uh, that dictates the channel, the more they're usually going to like you. So that's a good way to kind of involve your audience with it as well. Now, the last method I've used to find out what's the best time to upload on a channel is by looking at the biggest competitors channels in the certain niche that you are in and then seeing what time they upload. Because usually like the big channels that have, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers already, they usually have already looked at the data and the analytics. And uh, most of the time, like the time they upload is actually based on um, some good reasoning. So you can usually just kind of do a similar upload schedule if your audiences really can, uh, you know, merge or like if you have the same kind of like demographics as them, then uh, probably you can go with something like the, uh, like what they have as well. But in general, like I still recommend finding it out for yourself and not just like straight up copying someone else because it is, isn't really a lot of time. And, uh, you know, everybody's channel is a bit different. Everybody's audience is a bit different. So to get the best results, you want to do your own research on your own channel. Now, you might also be wondering what are the best days to post your videos, not only the best times of the day, but what are the best days? So I'm going to share with you my experience on that as well. So from posting hundreds and hundreds of videos throughout multiple channels and getting, you know, millions and millions of views, uh, from my experience, the best days to post in general are Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now, the reason why, you know, for example, Friday isn't that good of a day or like Sunday isn't that good of a day is because, you know, most people who work finish work at on uh, Fridays or people who go to school they finish school on Fridays so obviously that's the day where most people go out uh, maybe to a club or just hang out with their friends or go on a trip or something like that so people aren't going to spend their whole afternoon and evening most likely uh, watching YouTube videos I mean some people are hey I'm, I'm one of those people but you know the majority of people try to do something on uh, Fridays and Saturdays and even Sundays so those days are aren't the best if you are trying to maximize the amount of views your videos get. But on the flip side, like Monday, you know, is the start of the day. People, when they finish with work and school and whatever, they are usually tired and they want to watch some YouTube videos and some content online. So for that reason, like Mondays, Tuesdays, and, and actually Thursdays are my favorite days to post. You also might be wondering what is like the best frequency to post in terms of how many days should you post every single week? So in my experience, the best like kind of like sweet spot in terms of where you're getting the most for the amount of time you need to put into the videos is like two to three videos per week. That's where you're going to see the most growth and you still don't have to like commit your whole life to those videos unless it's super high production quality. But hey, go with something that you are comfortable with and something that you can stay consistent with. Even if that's just one video per week, that's still better than nothing and you can still grow your channel. What you just don't want to do and <laughs> this is a mistake I've made on my own channel multiple times is you know you post something and then you don't post anything for a month and then you post a lot of videos again it's better to stay consistent even if it's less videos per week than to just burst out a ton of videos and then uh, ghost your whole audience for a while so i really hope you enjoy this video if you want to see more youtube and content creation related videos then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this please drop a like on it as well it helps the algorithm and let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see next on the channel and what questions you have regarding growing your channel and also getting clients online and making more money with social media. So hope you enjoyed it again and I will see you guys in the next video.